My 23 female, mom wants me to forgive my best friend knowing she betrayed me. Original post. My friend Molly, same age, was like a sister to me. We have known each other since we were four. We were partner in crimes, we knew everything about each other. We even decided to become each other's kid's godmother. When I was 17, I started dating a guy from my neighborhood, Lucas. He was also my father's friend's son, that's how we met. I had a crush on him since I was 15, and Molly knew about it. In fact, she was the one who insisted I talk to him. She encouraged me to ask him out. I did, and we've been dating since we're 17. Everything was good, I thought I found my soulmate. But I noticed something different when we were on our fourth year of relationship. He acted kinda distant. I thought the pressure from university is stressing him out. I tried to cheer him up and tried to be intimate, but he would just brush it off. At one time I accidentally looked at his phone while I was trying to make a call, and I came across hundreds of messages between him and Molly. They also sent each other nudes. I felt really disgusted, but I couldn't confront him because I knew he would just deny it. Then one day I went to his house to surprise him. There I saw Molly and Lucas, who were almost naked on the couch. They were probably in the middle of foreplay when I walked in. They were both shocked to see me, as if they saw a ghost. I cannot explain the rage I was feeling. I felt like I am about to faint, so I left. They both tried to chase me down, with the classic, it's not what it looks like. Oh really? You guys are naked cuddling and eating each other's faces. I wonder what it is. I was thankfully with my sister who saw me coming, and I told her to take me home. There, I cried with my two sisters and told them everything. They were really empathetic. They asked me if I have screenshots. I told them yes. They told me to keep it, and also told me to message him and my friend that we are done. I did as they told me. According to my sister's advice, I told all our mutual friends about it, and it was a chaos. I was broken and devastated. I would cry all day and not eat. I was betrayed by my best friend and the love of my life. But somehow betrayal from Molly really hurt the most. After digging up in the drama that transpired, I got to know how disgusting and vile Lucas was. I cannot list everything here because of word limit. But I came to realization that he had so many red flags that I ignored. That kinda helped me to heal. Lucas also came to my house few times, but my sister told him if he keeps bothering us, she will call the cops. My father knew about all of this and was very supportive. I didn't want him to stop his friendship with Lucas's dad, but Lucas cannot be in our house anymore. I will not be in the same room as him. It took me a while, but I healed. I did lose a lot of friends, because some of them took Molly's side, and have like two good friends who actually helped me. Plus, I was very thankful to have two amazing sisters. I went out with my friends, started working out, even some forums helped me, and I stayed away from dating for a year. I am currently happy and in a relationship with someone. I thought I left the whole thing behind, but my mom keeps insisting I forgive Molly. You see, Molly's mom and my mom are really good friends. After I told my mom about Molly's betrayal, she was supportive, but also sad that she might have to stop talking to her friend. I told her not to. Regardless of what Molly did, her mom is very sweet. She even apologized on Molly's behalf. I was never rude to her when she came home, but Molly is also not allowed in our house. Now my mom thinks I should forgive her. She always says to Molly's mom that they wish things went back to the way they were. My mom kept pushing that I forgive her and not ruin our friendship over a stupid boy. I mean, why should I? She knows I hate people who betray and cheat. Yet she did it behind my back. She claims that because I am in a relationship, I should just forget, otherwise I will become a bitter person. My sisters are on my side. My father says the decision is up to me, but I don't know what I will do. Yes, I do miss what Molly and I had, but I still haven't forgiven her for what she did. It just hurts knowing my mom wants me to forgive after knowing everything that has happened. Just to add more context. 1. Molly and Lucas hooked up on her birthday when she broke up with her ex. She did tell me she is sorry and things just happened. She was lonely and he was there to comfort her. 2. In case you are wondering what Lucas did and why he had red flags, it's because he criticized me a lot. It was either about my looks or my ambitions. I once told him I want to write a book, and he mocked me. I brushed it off since he had a dark sense of humor. 3. Lucas kept a spreadsheet of all the girls we knew in our circle, even at his university. He would rate them based on their looks. It was shared among his friends. Yes, I was on that list too, and it made me really insecure. 4. Some of my and Molly's mutual friends knew about their affair, but kept it away from me. That's why I cut a whole lot of them off. Now for the top advice before reading the update. Personally, I agree with your mom. When you hate someone, it only gives what they did to make you hate them power over you. And it prevents you from being able to move on with your life. I'm not saying that you should forget what she did or even be friends with her. 
But you absolutely should realize you can't undo what she did and neither can she. If you can't forgive your friend, then why should anyone forgive you if you ever do something selfish and truly do regret what you did and want to make things right? The decision is really yours. All I can comment is, if I were in your shoes, I don't think I could be friends with someone who used their own hurt to hurt me. She was sad and lonely, why couldn't she call you? And it continued. You can end as acquaintances at best, because most likely you'll bump into her if your moms are still friends. I would not get close to her again. She didn't respect or love you enough after years of friendship, what's changed? Honestly, who needs enemies with friends like that? Ask your mom what she would do if her good friend slept with your dad. If she pulls the that's different, we're married card, tell her the feeling of betrayal and hurt isn't different. You may not care about the dude anymore, but that doesn't erase what your friend did. Don't feel guilted into taking back a person who hurt you, unless you really want that friendship back. My sister did ask her, but she got mad instead. A lot has happened since then. I am thinking about posting an update. Now for the update. Few days ago when I posted this on my main, many people asked for an update. So here it is. I knew I cannot allow Molly in my life. No matter what mom says, but something weird happened that I had to post an update. This is going to be long. So I went home this week. My older sister was already there. She told me my mom wanted to invite Molly and her mom into our house. My dad refused because he doesn't want to betray me. I was angry at my mom for doing this to me. We all sat down and I told my mom how it felt to be betrayed by my friend. I told her that I am not asking her to stop seeing Molly's mom, but she should just stop forcing me to be friends with her. It's not going to happen. Even if I forgive her, I will not be her friend and she will not be welcomed in our house. She got mad and said we should learn to let go of the past. I also asked her what if Molly's mom had an affair with dad and you walked in on them while they were doing it. I expected her to be mad, but her expression was a bit of a surprise. I don't know how to describe it, it's as if I hit on something. My dad stepped in and said, you should tell her now. She is old enough to know. Then I heard the entire history of mom, dad, and Molly's mom. Molly's mom was a serial cheater. She cheated on her ex-husband with multiple men, but my mom didn't know. She did have hints, but never confronted her. Apparently, she got pregnant with an affair partner's baby and tried to pass it on as Molly's father's. But Molly's father was smart. He did a DNA test on Molly's half-brother, and the truth came out. My mom did berate her for that, but Molly's mom was very remorseful. She begged and pleaded with her husband to stay, but her husband didn't. I looked up the dude on social media, and he is filthy rich. Probably Batman kinda rich without all the gadgets. He hired a lawyer and also had a prenup, so Molly's mom didn't get a single dime for alimony, but he did pay child support for a while. He didn't want the custody because Molly technically knew about her mother's affair, but didn't say anything. Molly was seven when it happened, and she would only talk about her dad number two. I never knew. Probably because I thought that she was talking about her uncle or something. Molly's dad only got the visitation which he wanted, but Molly stopped going when she turned 15. My mom helped her get back on her feet because she was broke, and Molly's child support only supports her and not the entire family. Three years after their divorce, Molly's dad got married again to someone younger than Molly's mom. I also dug up his name and saw that he was happy with his new family. So, the day he got married, Molly's mom went into a deep depression. She was very much drunk, and that witch tried to make a move on my dad. But my dad pushed her away. My dad told my mom, but she denied something like that happened. Until Molly's mom called and apologized for her behavior. She forgave her, but according to my dad and older sister, she would still make excuses to get closer to dad. My sisters spent their time keeping her away from dad. Dad never liked her for what she did. Her husband was my dad's business partner at that time and dad only tolerated her for mom and my sake. So back to our conversation, I looked at my mom, and she told me that it was different because my dad never had an affair. I asked if she would have forgiven her if the affair happened. She was silent. I asked her to give me an actual reason why she thinks I should forgive Molly. Then she told me the truth. Molly's mom has been sort of blackmailing mom, that she will cut contact with her. My mom doesn't have many friends in town, and Molly's mom was her best friend. According to her, she cannot be in a house where her daughter is not invited. Also as I mentioned in one of the comments, my mom had a miscarriage when I was 4 years old, and Molly's mom helped her a lot during that time. When my mom was jaded, she would clean her house and bring Molly, that's how we became friends. My mom pretty much saw Molly as her fourth child. She was probably trying to fill the space that her miscarriage left. So, losing Molly felt like losing her baby again. That's why she wants us to reconcile, not because of Molly, but because she is afraid her friendship will come to an end. 
I was very upset by it, but I understood her. I told her Molly's mom is welcome here anytime, though I have no respect for her now, but Molly will not set foot in this house. And told her to get therapy, because she had a very unhealthy attachment to Molly. I was conflicted. I was disappointed in Molly's mom. She seemed like a really nice lady. When Lucas cheated on me, I remember crying to her. She consoled me and felt genuinely sorry. So, I did something out of the blue. I texted Molly's mom that I want to meet her alone. We went to a public place. My sister knew and told me to record the conversation as it is not illegal here. So I met her. I told her everything my mom told me. I also told her that she is welcome in our house, but she cannot bring Molly. She didn't try to argue. She told me she should have known. That she never wanted her daughter to become like her. Her infidelity has made her life hell. Molly could have had a beautiful childhood if she never cheated on her husband. Her husband was a great guy. She still feels guilty about doing this to him, and she wishes she could go back in time and undo her mistake. I said that even though I don't have the same amount of respect for her, I don't mind having her around, my family is okay with that. The woman started crying. She finally spilled the beans after a year. She told me she knew about Molly and Lucas. She knew Lucas was cheating on me with Molly. She told her daughter to stop it, but Molly said she is only friends with benefits with Lucas. And they will stop in a few weeks. Her mother told her that if she continues this, then she better conceal it properly. She only allowed this because she knew her daughter had an obsession with Lucas. She thought it would help Molly to get this obsession out of her system. I was fuming. I wanted to yell, but I kept my cool. She knew this entire time, and not once did she mention it. I asked her about her flirting with my dad. And that's when she showed me what a snake she truly is. I pressed her and berated her for trying to destroy my mom's marriage. Once she had enough, she yelled that my mom doesn't deserve any of this. She is very lame and boring, that she was only friends with her because she pitied her. My mom comes from a poor household, she doesn't have much education as she went to a very underfunded college, but Molly's mom went to a prestigious college. She is not even at her, Molly's mom's level. She said my dad doesn't deserve a street rat like her. I wanted to leave, but I wanted to have everything on the recording. But I had enough. I told her, more or less yelled at her, that she is not welcome in our house. She is a liar and a cheater, and so is her daughter. I cannot believe this woman. She has been manipulating my mom all this time. As soon as I got home, I told my mom everything about this. My mom refused to believe that her friend would say something like that. So my sister who is a freaking genius played the audio. I now understand why she told me to record. After hearing the entire thing, she grabbed her phone and called her. She yelled. I could hear words like, slot and hoe in my native language. She said that if she sees her again, she will rip her eyes out. It was kinda shocking. One minute she was praising her, and then she was yelling. But moreover, I am happy she cut off all the toxicity. I feel bad for mom. I can relate because we both lost our close friends. We sat down and chatted, and she told me how being a stay-at-home mom was difficult for her to make friends with. Molly's mom was her close friend. She always looked up to her, because she was really popular in our community. She wanted to be like her, and my dad always disliked that. My mom also told me that she is sorry, that she was selfish. She enabled her so far, that she hurt her own daughter, and she feels guilty. I understand her. My dad said that she is putting her on therapy, because she clearly has some trauma from her miscarriage, and also from her childhood. I told her that she can still make great friends, though she cut off all her friends for Molly's mom. I told her to try and reconnect with them. I am also going to spend some time with her too so she doesn't feel alone. All of this drama has made me realize I have a great dad, and I have a newfound respect for him. Even when he was vulnerable, he never gave in to Molly's mother's flirting. He helped my mom when she had a C-section with me. He understands that being a stay-at-home mom is difficult, but he loves her regardless. Many people speculated if my mom is a cheater or not, so let me clarify. It is not the case. She is very loyal to my dad. She was the oldest of seven siblings, and she had to keep her family together at all cost. Hence, her pressure on me in forgiving Molly. Also as for my ex, he texted me on my birthday last month. He wished me a happy birthday and said that he was sorry for what he did. He also said that Molly is a great girlfriend who helped him after our breakup and helped him heal. There was like an entire paragraph of him praising Molly. And to quote him, I do not regret loving you. It is because of you I learned how to love. That's why I am able to become such a good partner to Molly. I hope someday you will find someone good enough for you. I wish you all the best. What a clown. I showed this to my boyfriend, and he laughed and said, I guess his wish has come true. I do not care if they marry or have like 100 babies. I am done with them. Someone pointed out that they did a huge favor because they are both trash and deserve each other.
It's true, and at least they won't be wasting other people's time with their toxicity. As for me, I am doing fine. I am planning a trip with my boyfriend and friends after my finals. And thanks to all of you who messaged me and commented. Also, I don't know if this counts as karma, but Molly got into a fight with one of her friends who knew about the affair. My friend went to a party this week, and she told me Molly and the friend of hers had a fight. Apparently, that friend accused her of stealing her boyfriend. According to my friend, the boyfriend and Molly were not doing anything other than chatting. But the girl came onto Molly and said, Well, I should have known, given your history as a man-stealer. This is now her reputation. Even if she tried to say she wasn't flirting, no one was buying it lol. Molly and Lucas are likely already cheating on each other. Give it a few years. Nasty people to be observed from afar. Honestly, it doesn't matter now. Yes, losing a friend still hurts, but I have found really good people in my life. Even if they cheat on each other, I would just sit back and watch. You mother is insane. I don't think so. She may be a people pleaser, but I don't think she is insane. She does have some trauma regarding her upbringing, but I don't think she is a bad person. At least now, she doesn't push this matter and said she won't be bringing it up. When they said that Molly's mother was a serial cheater, I was so ready for the reveal that Molly and OP were half-sisters. Reddit has absolutely ruined me LMAO. The second the dad said they needed to tell her, I was like, oh, he and Molly's mom definitely cheated with each other. Wow, Opus's mom needs help. That's what I thought. She wasn't upset that Molly's mom was harassing her husband at all. Opus also drops this casually about her mom. She cut off all her friends for Molly's mom. Meaning, Opus's mom once had other friends. Molly's mom was able to successfully isolate her so that she had zero perspective outside of this toxic friendship and feel like she had no other options except to maintain it at all costs. 